welcome back programmers in this short video i am going to show you how you can get the request asyncly it means whenever you get the request from the server it takes too much time let me show you so these are the some url which i want to fetch the data from so obviously i'm going to use the import request then i can take a look to fetch because i want the data of the all of the url so I can do like this for i in urls because i want a single single url then i can directly write request dot get and in here i can pass the i and in here i can pass the dot json because i want the data of the json now this is the local or strapy data uh, this is just an example because I'm showing you how to get the data from the request from the requested URL. So for now, I'm just printing all of this data one by one. And now whenever I run this program, you will see how much time this takes. So what I can do, I can create a new variable named whatever you want. So I don't want to print it in here. And instead of here, I can just use data dot append and I can put my data in that data variable and now at the end I can print the data so you will see how this works so now let's run this so this is my terminal now if I hit enter it will take like 10 seconds to run this program because I am grabbing the six URL and it will uh, grab uh, URL one by one so it will take too much time so let me show you as you can see it's still loading it is taking like too much time so let's see how much time it takes okay now we got the data it took like a nine second and we got all of the data from this urls now the problem in here is that it is taking too much time it shouldn't take this much time because we want all of the data but we want it fast so what you can do you can use the async now async simply means in here the compiler is compiling one by one code line by line but what if i want to run all of this url at once all of this thread at once i don't want it one by one fetching i want all of this url fetching once so it will take a lots of time if i directly run this run by run but if i use the async so it will not take that much time so how we are going to do this and for that you can directly use the g request now if you want to install the g request so just write pip install g request on your terminal and hit enter link is in the description okay so let me show you import g request and this is my url now we don't need this code right now for now this is my url and i'm just importing the g request now simply what i'm going to do i'm going to create a response variable and in that response variable i am again taking a loop but this time it's a single loop single line loop so g request dot get u now this time we are going to use this g request dot get in the previous code we are using the we were using the request.get but this time we are going to obviously going to use the g request.get now for you in urls this is our urls and we are putting all of the url in the u variable and put it in rs so this time it will uh, grab all of that url and create a unsynchronization and run all of the thread at once and now we are going to use the map function of the g request so response equal to g request dot map and we are going to pass the rs object so if i print the response obviously we are going to get the response so let me show you as you can see we got the response 200 for all of the six links now it's not slow it's very fast let me show you again if i click on the run it will take around three second and boom it got it so this is how fast it becomes i know this is just a response so you can directly grab all of the data from it so if i write response dot text so it will give all of the data let me show you so let's create a quick loop for i in response and in here i'm going to directly print i dot text 
now text is nothing but the variable which uh, give us all of the text of that response so if i run it it will take oh, oh that's how fast it is so as you can see we got all of the data in only two second so this is very powerful and this is how you can fetch a multiple url and create a async of that and fast your work so i hope this video is very helpful for you now i know if you are wondering that this is the text you can convert it into the json if you want to do it you can just directly write import json and in here just write json dot loads i dot text now uh, it will load all of the data as the json format so yes we got the json data so that is it for today's guys if you like this video just like this video share this video with other programmers hit on the bell icon so you'll never miss my latest video see you guys in the next video till then just code